All right, so here we have Alex Lagana. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the CrossFit Jungle Gym Body Composition Challenge. So for everybody out there who doesn't know you or why you got started in the nutrition challenge that we did here, can you tell us a little bit about your story and what made you decide to, to join the six-week challenge? Um, I'm really good. Now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, now will, I had... will you please? <laughs> Well, since you said please. Um, no, yeah, I've been working out for like two years and kind of, not stagnant, but wanted to take the training up to the next level. So, okay. cool. figured this would be good timing. Awesome. And will you give us a little bit of background on some of the changes that you made during the challenge? So, whether that was in regards to your sleep, in regards to the food, what, what changed over this past six weeks? There's definitely more consistent sleep, and then, yeah, revamp what I was eating. Okay. A lot you more protein than I was used to, even though I thought it wouldn't be. And then, uh, less carbs, less lasagna, less... Okay. And I heard you had a really attractive cook. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she's alright. She bought my food. I'm just, I'm just busting jokes because Alex's mom did a lot of this food prep, so he had a good uh, support no, system. No, 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 no. I did the food prep. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Awesome, I, good. She bought the food. Oh, that, but, uh, well, that helps. I, I, had to, I had to prep it. Awesome. Come on, give me credit for it. Yeah, I, 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 I just had to break the ice. Okay. And did you feel like we had some rules associated with the challenge and some guidelines? Do you feel like the rules and guidelines that the CrossFit Jungle Gym staff set forth for you were manageable? Uh, yeah, I mean, for the first week, it was pretty good. For the first week? No, with the, with the, the actual rules, like the stuff that helped me lose weight, it was, it was good. Okay, so the rules helped, but they weren't anything too crazy where you felt like we were telling you you can't have anything. Or... Oh, no, no, in terms of food, it was, it was fine. Okay. In terms of exercising, I was ready doing that. Okay. And do you, do you feel like you found a good balance over this last six weeks? Mm -hmm. Or do you feel like we were crazy and we put you on this extreme crash diet where maybe you got results but you wouldn't actually be able to continue? No, no, it was pretty close to what I was eating. It was just swapping out the carbs I was eating for protein. So it was pretty, it was pretty similar. And I'm still doing it for the most part. Okay. Just adding and in some... And did you, make, did you make, did uh, you said you swapped out, you were eating a little bit more protein. Did you find yourself making better choices with your carbohydrates, maybe trading some of the carbs that you were maybe eating before for higher quality carbs or? No, I, I, I mean, the carbs that I cut out were the lower quality carbs, but I was, I'm still eating relatively the, like, like I had a lot of pasta, but. Not anymore. Are you still having? No, no, no. Still, I'm still I, having pasta. Yeah, I'm still having but pasta. You're still getting results with yeah. not having to change everything. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's less. Uh, it's just less of it. Okay. Quantity, quantity control, not, not quality whole, control. You're not eating the whole lasagna anymore. <laughs> you're just eating uh, half of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and tell us a little bit about your favorite result over the last six weeks. So for those of the people that weren't privy to being on the camera as you walked in, I found out that you got your first toast of bar, which is a pretty huge goal. But over the last six weeks, did you have anything else? What was your favorite result? So it could be in terms of the numbers. I know you improved your body fat percentage. Mm -hmm. I know you lost some inches. You gained some muscle mass. It could be results that came from the gym. What was your favorite thing that you accomplished? Yeah. I mean, numbers are numbers, but no, yeah, definitely it was the deadlift. Uh, what about the deadlift? Tell everybody out there who doesn't right. know. Uh, since I came in here, when I came here, it was 160 pounds two and a half years ago. I just got 335, so. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Awesome. No, and then and that, and then I got three pull-ups in a row, where I barely had one six weeks ago. And then 13-foot rope climb. Anything else? I, what no, did you do? <laughs> uh, ten push-ups in a row. Awesome. I got that. And this yesterday. is this is just over the last. Obviously, I know you do personal training in addition to classes, so you're clearly working. Yeah. You know, you're. What what PRs do you ever get during personal training? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but oh, these yeah. are things that happened just over the last six weeks mm -hmm. with cleaning up your nutrition. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. 
And where do you plan to go from here nutrition-wise? So I guess where I'm going with that is, do you feel like we've equipped you with the knowledge that you need to continue to do this on your own and continue to see success? Or do you feel like you are taking the route of where you want to continue to work one-on-one -on -one with the coach? No, I, uh, I definitely feel that I can be independent. Awesome. We gave it's you some good knowledge. The, yeah, most of the, the cheat meals, and the, like not having to be 100%. That like 80 20 rule, right? Yeah. Awesome. And uh, name three things in your life that changed for the better as a result of this challenge. So, you already mentioned a lot of like increased performance uh, abilities, things like that. Is there something else that maybe you didn't share with us? Like, I don't know, maybe you're sleeping better, maybe you've been less angry at your significant other, or something crazy like that. Any other side benefit that happened throughout this last six weeks? Um, no, nah, the, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, most of it's to do with fitness. That's really where you measure it personally. That's yeah. What you're saying. Yeah, I mean, have have more. I have more energy. That's yeah. Okay. So recap I'm up to some like of the measurable results that you got. What do you mean? Like, how much weight did you lose? Oh, all right. Uh, lost. Six point eight, so seven pounds. Lost seven percent body fat, and then everything else went down. About an inch or two, and I think it was, what was it, nine inches all yeah, together? Nine inches like all together. So you lost nine total inches when we did all your measurements. Mm -hmm. Cool. And did you? So, I know this is like a measurement that maybe you don't know off the top of your head, but did you gain any lean body mass, like with your when yeah, your composition changed? I think a hundred and fifty. Six now okay. pounds out of 199 or it was I don't know but yeah <laughs> okay I, think I, I didn't think you had that number no. off the top of your head but you saw an improvement in your lean body mass yeah. which is obviously clearly why you're stud and you're able to now do three pull-ups in a row ten unbroken push-ups and all that good stuff mm -hmm. awesome okay and uh, what would you say the support was like from the CrossFit Jungle Gym coaches and the members did you feel like you had the support you needed to be successful yeah, yeah, they definitely, I mean, it was, everybody was on the same page, so that, like, kind of helped, it was, like, if you had a question about anything, or if you needed help with anything, they were, they were right there. Awesome. So, yeah, everybody was doing the same, on the same journey, I guess. It's nice to, right, to have other people who are working towards a similar goal. Yeah, yeah, instead of being, trying so to do it low. on your own. So low. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your results from this program that the CrossFit Jungle Gym coaches set up for you? 1 being, I'm bummed, I want a refund, or 10 being like, I'm really satisfied Maybe with the 10. results? No, uh, I am I'm 10 out of 10, perfectly satisfied. Awesome, check, I like check. it. Check, check. <laughs> All right, so this leads into my next question. Were you totally satisfied with the results of your six weeks? The answer is either going to be totally satisfied or not exactly, and if not exactly, give us some details as to why. Um, no, yeah, yeah, totally satisfied. Awesome. Yeah, it was good. Good. And would you recommend this to others who may be sitting at home and want similar results as you? So I guess where I'm going with this is everybody that I've spoken to kind of has their own obstacle that they've brought into the gym. Um, I don't know if you have any obstacle that you've experienced, but if there's somebody out there who's sitting at home who's in a similar situation to you, do you feel like if they came here with the help of a CrossFit Jungle Gym coach, they could also be successful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely, I mean, you could come in here. Some people did with like no experience or like very little CrossFit experience and still be good because the nutrition was the main guidance. factor. And yeah, there was, there was a lot of help and Perfect. support for that. And do you think if there was somebody at home who had a similar story to yours, maybe, right, there's going to be people who are watching this that don't know you, and maybe they're, like, sitting on their computer, they just finished eating a big meal, and they're thinking to themselves, geez, I want to get stronger, geez, I want to lose weight, or whatever it is. If you could tell them one thing about getting started specifically here at CrossFit Jungle Gym, what would you tell them? Um, just do everything. I don't know. Do, do what the coaches suggest at first until you can find your own plan, find what works for you, and then make it your own so you can actually 
sustain it. Okay. And over your like time here crossfitting, have you ever experienced an obstacle? And if so, would you share it and talk about kind of how the team here at CrossFit Jungle Gyms helped you overcome it? Anything that comes to mind? I've never struggled with anything. You're just such a stud. No, uh, no, I mean, even the, the toast board, it was pretty bad at the start. And then we've been working on it for probably six months, probably longer than that. And How good slowly, does that taste? How rewarding is that, finally getting it? Gotta get, gotta get more. Yeah, <laughs> of course you always want more. Uh, what about to walk out that door and do some more? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of obstacles. Alright, well, my last working, question. Working specific stuff. My last question is, you do a lot of personal training, right? So you do both group classes and personal training. Mm -hmm. What makes you continue to do personal training? What do you love about your personal training sessions? Um, just the results, the specific things that I can get out of it. So like some stuff that the the uh, the class doesn't, like I can't get out of the class. Or like specific things I need to work on that I can work on in open gym. If that, you know, I, I get like a coach that can actually help. That knows exactly what you want to work yeah, towards and, and helps you build yeah. a plan for that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Do you have any questions for me? No. Okay. <laughs> awesome. That's a wrap. <laughs>